claims tonight the bleaching crisis on the Great Barrier Reef is spreading. But there are hopes Cyclone Debbie may have had a small positive effect, cooling waters on the reef and temporarily halting the process. White as far as the eye can see. Snorkelling a few weeks ago was actually like snorkelling through a coral graveyard. The Climate Council's new report declares the first back-to-back -back years of bleaching on the reef in history a deadly threat. Extremely warm water causing particularly severe bleaching. In the past, cyclones have whipped up cooler waters, halting decolorisation. Debbie's full impact is not yet known. The initial advice we've had back uh, has been that perhaps it hasn't cooled it down as much as we might have hoped. Simply um, is not the sort of phenomenon that could cool the reef down over its entire extent. But the cyclone's heavy rain is already having an impact. Griffith University and WWF released these pictures showing how Debbie pushed sediment and pollution into reef waters. The Climate Council warns coral bleaching is not only harming the reef itself, but also the tourism industry. They claim that the state risks losing $1 billion in revenue since the bleaching began. I think they're being conservative when they talk about a billion dollar loss to the, uh, to the tourism industry. We have to be realistic and say that we can't save everything, but we can save some of it. And bring the colour back to the reef. Simon Love, 7 News.